Um, welcome to this week's uh, vlog. Um, I've just finished visiting amazing business here in Glastonbury uh, called Themes, who sort of rent props and set dressing and everything else to the events industry as well as to sort of TV and music and also sort of lighting and sound um, equipment sales as well. Um, just another <laughs> amazing example of the businesses that are here where you sort of you don't really realize they're here and yet employ a good number of people, make lots of money. Uh, and serving a sort of really niche part, a really niche market. Um, so great fun to visit them. This morning, I spent some time shadowing the um, village agent in Cheddar, meeting one of her clients, um, talking to the doctor's surgery in Axbridge about the way that village agents and the doctors are working together, as well as some of the other people from the community council for Somerset who sort of deliver the village agents about sort of how we grow their role because they do an amazing job sort of linking the NHS, social care, volunteers in the community, community groups, micro providers and that's just a really important function that increasingly village agents are delivering. Um, then I went to the David Wilson Homes development uh, in Wookie Hole just outside Wales uh, which people will have seen in the news um, uh, it was it was a good visit. It was a necessary visit. I've had a number of constituents who have written, have written to me or emailed me um, about their concerns about what's been going on there. Um, ultimately, it's not my decision to take over sort of what happens next there. But I have to say that I was pretty reassured. And um, when you hear all the things that they're doing to mitigate it, um, you know, you sort of get the feeling that it is all now uh, under control and will be fine. Um, and now from here I'm off to a, a surgery in Burnham-on-Sea um, to, to see some people who, who need my help. Um, up in London this week it's been the sort of calm after the storm, you know, Brexit, the legislation has gone off to the Lords, uh, so it's been nice actually to get back to doing other stuff. Earlier in the week I spoke uh, in a debate on the Euratom Bill, which is the um, bill that sort of governs nuclear safeguarding very very important for us here in Somerset with nuclear power stations um, but actually sort of just very interesting to be starting to legislate for stuff that um, around Brexit but not directly connected to Brexit very very necessary and I think sort of a sign of what's to come in Parliament over um, the months ahead. The only other thing I wanted to sort of talk about in this week's vlog is um, a lot of discussion this week in Westminster about spending on defence. Um, really pleased to see that the Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson is standing his ground and saying that our armed forces cannot be cut. That the defence, that the requirement for our nation's defence is not about a threat that has moved and therefore we just need to move one, the money from one capability to another. It's about a threat that has grown uh, and that can only be met by at the very least maintaining our capability but actually by expanding it. And I'm really pleased to see that he stood his ground, that the Prime Minister um, appears to be supportive of his position and that we're having a bit of a rethink about defence spending. Um, it's one of the things that I care very, very passionately about. As a former soldier, I have to, I need to be able to look my former colleagues in the eye and be able to say to them that we're not taking money away from defence um, when we know we shouldn't be. Um, so that's something I will continue to fight on, but it appears that the government is in the same place uh, and that's reassuring, but we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Um, that's enough from me. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, more next week.